Hello, how to solve t times t times t and this equals 1 over 64. We are solving for all values of t that will satisfy this equation. So t times t is t power 2 times t. This is t to the power of 3. And this equals 1 divided by 64. Now I can express 1 as 1 to the power of 3. Because 1 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 1. Now, I can also express this 64 as 4 times 4 times 4. And this is 4 to the power of 3. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So, I can rewrite this whole equation as t to the power of 3 equals 1 to the power of 3 divided by 4 to the power of 3. So right now, we have power 3 here, and we have power 3 here. Consider this identity if you have a power c divided by b power c. This equals a divided by b, all to the power of c. So we are going to apply this identity right here. So that means what we are going to have will be t power 3 equals 1 divided by 4 raised to the power of 3. So what I can do will be to move this over here. It becomes negative 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3. So I have t power 3 minus 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3. And this equals 0. Now, this little us to the fact that there is power 3 here. There is power 3 here. And there is minus here. So for me to expand this, I will make use of this identity. A power 3 minus B power 3 equals A minus B times A squared plus AB plus B power 2. Now my A is T and my B is 1 over 4. So let me insert it right here. I will have T minus 1 over 4. That is A minus B times this is t squared plus ab is t times 1 over 4 plus b squared. This is 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2. And this equals 0. So right now, I'm going to equate each of these to 0. I have t minus 1 over 4 equals 0. Or I have this. This is t squared plus t times 1 over 4. This is t over 4 plus 1 power 2. It is 1 divided by 4 power 2. That is 16. And this equals 0. So right now, I can solve this. I have my t equals 1 over 4 by moving this over here. So this is my t1. So this becomes my false solution. Now, let's consider this. For all us to solve this, I find a common LCM. So the common LCM here, is 16. Now, what I'm going to do will be I divide this 16 by 1, that is 16, 16 times t squared, that is 16 power 2, plus 16 divided by 4, 4, 4 times t, that is 4t, plus 16 divided by 16, 1, 1 times 1, I have 1, equals, this is also over 1, 0 over 1, so 16 divided by 1, 16, 16 times 0, I have 0. So let me copy out this numerator. So what I'm going to have will simply be 16 t squared plus 40 plus 1. You can cross multiply this. 16 will multiply 0. That will give you 0. This equals 0. So you now have this equation. This is what we are going to solve. So for us to solve this, we are going to make use of the formula method. And the formula is we have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And now 16 is my a, 4 is my b, 1 is my c. So I'm going to insert it right here. So that means I'm going to have t equals negative b. That is negative 4 plus or minus square root of b squared 
that is 4 power 2 minus 4 times a is 16 times 1. And this is divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 16. So from here, what I'm going to have is t equals, this is negative 4 plus or minus, this is square root of 4 squared, that is 16, minus 4 times 16, times 1, that is 64. And this is divided by 2 times 16, that is 32. So from here, you are simply going to have t equal this is negative 4 plus or minus. Now, this will be square root of 16 minus 64. So that will give us 48, negative 48. We have negative 48 divided by 32. So right now, what I'm going to do will be to have my t equals negative 4 plus or minus this minus here. I can take square root of negative 1 times square root of 48. So this is divided by 32. So from here I can have t equals negative 4 plus or minus square root of negative 1. This is i. Let's measure number i times square root of this 48, I can simply express it as this is 4 times 12, that is 4 times 12, and this is divided by 32. So what I'm going to do will be to have my t equals negative 4 plus or minus i times square root of 4, this is 2, square root of 12, divided by 32. I can also express this 12 as 4 times 3 again. So this will be t equals negative 4 plus or minus i times 2 times this p square root of 4 times 3. And this is divided by 32. So from here, I can simply have this equals negative 4 plus or minus i times 2 times square root of 4 that is times 2 root 3, you vary by 32. So from here, I'm going to have t equals negative 4 plus or minus i times 2 times 2, that is 4 root 3. So divided by 32. So from here, 4 can Cancel itself once, cancel four once, or even if you mean use of two, okay, two cancel this for two, cancel this, two, cancel this, we have this is 16. Cancel itself once again, cancel this once, cancel this eight. So that is it at the denominator. So we have t equals this is negative one plus or minus i times this is root three divided by 8. So what we are going to have here is simply t equal, I can factor out 1 over 8. This is negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So we have two complex solutions right now. I can simply have my t2 and t3 right now. I can have my t2 equals 1 over 8 times this is negative 1 plus i root 3 and t3 equals 1 over 8 times negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex solutions. And we also have a real solution, which is obviously 1 over 4. So if you want to check, you can just insert this real solution for t. You have t equals 1 over 4. That simply means you are going to have 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 times 1 over 4. This will give you 1 over 64. 1 times 1 times 1. 1 over 4 times 4 times 4. 
that is 64, and this equals 1 over 64. So left-hand side equals right-hand side. That means that is obviously correct. So that's it. Thank you and goodbye.